So, uh, Brittany Griner is finally out of uh, prison over in Russia. Um, they did like a switch. They did a prison swap, um, which the prison swap is a little, little shysty. Like, you know, it. Uh, all Brittany did was, um, you know, bring some marijuana over there, and they gave her nine years. And in order to get her out, um, we gotta send her. Uh, well, we gotta send Russia back, like some arms dealer. I don't know his name. He wasn't that important to me. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pretend like I care about this arms dealer. I never heard of him before this case. Um, I don't know who he was selling arms to, or where the guns was going, um, or what arms was he selling. I don't know nothing about it. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know why people are all of a sudden worried or cared about about this arms dealer. Now I get it, it could be potentially get out and start doing all but there's also other systems and other people that that need to be checked that ain't so we we I don't know. I don't think that's the place to fight tooth and nail over. But it is it I but it also just shows I mean we shouldn't be mad at that. We should just be more mad or upset at like the leverage that pretty much Russia took advantage of the situation like, you know, I'm pretty sure we it, and, and I'm pretty sure if like they had somebody over here that was arrested for drugs I don't know if they would be like they probably just oh yeah leave them there whatever they don't care but they took that time to um you know took something that uh that we that we really wanted was to you know uh Brittany to be sent back home uh cause that, that's some BS that's some BS uh, uh, some nine years for like some 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 uh, cannabis oil or something like that, like that. That's kind of ridiculous. Everybody knows it's kind of ridiculous. Um, but that does go to say, in other countries, you don't know their laws. You do gotta do some research beforehand and and know where you are. And and because because a lot of countries they don't they don't play with stuff like that. And if they will, and they will use you to take advantage of you know for whatever they want to gain politically or whatever so they know we got a couple of they big time people locked up that they want out so if they catch you jaywalking over oh jaywalking 10 years and 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 they will do that just so they can be like oh, yeah we let me get so and so and him and him back so that that's what it is so i think people have a lot of displaced anger um you know they're they're upset that you know uh, which which is understandable, but your anger shouldn't be at um, why we did, why U.S. did the trade. It's more so messed up that that's what it's come to, like you know the leverage in the situation. So that that's pretty much that. Um, but I am glad that she's home because that is, I mean, I can only imagine you know being out of the country, being locked up for something like that, and it's. And I and and yeah, people want to argue. Oh, the law was the law, but at at a certain point, I think um, intention or morals should kind of, you know, um, be be thrown in there. Somebody's you know bringing a personal can of uh, cannabis oil for themselves. They just trying to relax or get hot, whatever. But they, that's like a recreational drug for themselves. They're not harming anybody. They're not stressing nobody else out. They're not endangering anybody else. Something like that. Don't don't like nine years is okay. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, that's pretty ridiculous. Now, if somebody bought like gallons or a whole canister of this oil with intent to sell, and it was selling it to kids and and had uh, kids locked up in suitcases, then, then maybe you can get more heinous about that, and then, then you can, you know, but especially for a first-time offender, I think, like, that's, that's kind of ridiculous, but it is what it is, they took the time to take advantage of um, something that we really wanted, and you know, they, they took advantage of it, it's you know, but we, she should have never been in there in the first place, we all know that I think um that, that, that's some shenanigans right there but we're glad she's home but uh hopefully we all use this as a lesson like or at least try to learn from it um other places uh if wherever you're going make sure you know their rules and laws or just err on the side of caution be 100 percent perfect or don't even go there in the first place but i know she was over there to you know play some basketball and make money it's, it's kind of, it kind of sucks because i heard she had like a good rapport over there like she was always over there playing basketball and everything but you know that's 
that's that's just the government and, and how they want to operate so that's pretty much it that's all i got to say on the topic uh well uh we just riding around 